Great. Now let's learn numbers. Let me open an interactive shell here to explain this faster. And so, um, numbers, you know what numbers are. To create a number, you just type the number in Python. And that's it. And you, uh, you also have operators. Like this is the plus operator. And you can also store numbers in variables. Uh, let's say a equals to 2, b equals to 3. And then if you do a plus b, you get 5. Uh, something to note is that, uh, you know, if you do that in here, a equals to 2, b equals to 3. And then if you just do a plus b, and then you execute the script. Let me open another terminal. Uh, you will not get any output in there. Uh, the reason is that you are not printing out anything in your program. So this is different from an interactive uh, session. Here, if you simply do an operation or if you simply call a variable like that, you get uh, the output promptly. So this is just for simplicity when you're pro when you try things out. So you don't have to pass print explicitly, but Python will understand that you meant print. Uh, but here things are more strict. So you, if you want to print out the output, uh, you want to say print a plus b, and then execute, and you get the output. And yeah, basically that's the only difference between executing a program from a Python file and running the code in the interactive shell. So these are numbers and I can prove that if I do type 2 for instance you'll see that this is an int type which means is an integer. Uh, so basically we have integers and we have floats. These are the two main types of numbers. A float is let's say 2.4 it's a float and I can prove that 2.4 type 2.4 you'll see that this is a float however if you do type 2 in brackets you'll see that this is a string it's not a number and uh, therefore you cannot make operations uh, using a string and a number so Python will give you a type error and this is saying cannot convert integer to string implicitly. So when you do a string plus something else, Python expects that you were adding another string after a plus sign. So that's why it says I cannot convert an uh, integer object, so you cannot convert this to a string implicitly. Because if you were to do 2 plus 3 you'd get 23 because Python treats these two as text. So uh, to understand it better, uh, let's add some text here, b. So you get 2a3b. So it's a concatenation operation. When a plus operator is used with strings, it is referred to as concatenation. Now let's go back to our sample program that we used earlier, uh, which was this one in here. So now, now, what if instead of getting a, t a greeting from the user, you ask them for their age? Enter your age. So this is just a message, you can write anything you want there, but just try to have a message that makes some sense to the user. And so, um, also, I'm going to change the variable name to something more meaningful, age, and then what I want to do is uh, let's say new age, I want to calculate their age plus 50. Why not? And then print out the new age. Save the script and uh, let's go and execute this. We are going to get an error here, I warn you, but it's good that you see the errors that we get because that's how you learn better. Uh, so, Python my program executes for now it's working fine because what happens is uh, python executes a script line by line so it goes to the first line and if there is no error it executes that line and in this case we have an input function so the program 
is on standby mode, so it expects from the user to enter the input. And so let's enter the input here, let's say 28. And here is the error that we get. So again, we you saw this error before. Uh, this is saying type error cannot convert int object to string implicitly. And you also have the line here that the error occurred. So these are important messages. And uh, line two in here. So what's happening is that age is a string. It's not a number. Therefore, Python cannot add up a string with a number. And so why is age a string? Because that's what the input function produces. So the input function gets the user input and converts it to a string. So even if you pass a number there, this will always convert the, uh, everything to a string. Therefore, Python you know, cannot concatenate 28 plus 50. So what can you do in that case? Well, you want to convert that string into an integer. And for that, you want to use the int function. So it's a Python function that does the work. As you can see, it outputs now the correct output. So 28 plus 50 equals to 78. And similarly, you can convert numbers to strings. Uh, let's say str 50 and uh, I think we'll get an error here. Yep, uh, it says type error, unsupported operand type for plus. So you're adding up an integer with a string. So integer with a string. If you like to convert this to a float, let me remove that. Save, execute, 28. You get 78.0 uh, because what Python does when you use float is you know float 28 it converts it to 28.0 so floats can be useful in certain scenario and uh, you will have a lot of scenario in the course so don't worry about that now because because we have real world applications later on where you see the real benefit of everything that we are explaining here in this early sections that cover the basics. So this is about numbers. Try to practice them a little bit and I'll talk to you in the next lecture.